Okay, so I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, relationships and how to make relationships uh, as successful as possible. And what's interesting about relationships is that there are actually three parties in every relationship. Now, I know that sounds really weird, but let me explain that to you. Um, and once it's explained, hopefully you can sort of piece together the jigsaw that is a successful uh, interaction, a successful relationship. So if you think about being a salesperson, for example, or a leader, or even in a marriage, um, you will probably see things from position one. So let's say that's you and your lens that you look at the relationship and the world through. So this would be your beliefs, your values, um, everything that you want and you demand from a relationship. Uh, everything that you see a relationship to be, either in the past, present or future. Um, and you will put that out into the world and hopefully you will um, be able to articulate that to other people. So if you're a salesperson, you'll have company values and a product and a service that you're selling that you want to promote to somebody else. And of course that then leaves position number two, which is the other person. And lots of people kind of struggle with this concept where you have to remove your own lens and you have to see it from the other person's point of view through their, through their glasses, if you like, and their values, beliefs, um, how they see the past, present and future and what their wants and needs are. And in any relationship, it's, it's a bit of a tussle sometimes because you really need to walk in their shoes. And that desire, that need requires a lot of emotional intelligence, the ability to suspend what you see, but to actually think about what that person um, is seeing, hearing and experiencing, especially in selling where it's too easy sometimes to just push our products and services onto somebody else because we're so enthusiastic about it. But actually we need to stop and listen and ask questions and understand what their pains are, maybe what they want to gain from the interaction, the product and the relationship. Same in a marriage, okay? And then interestingly enough is position three which is the two parties together and an outside perspective and this is where we suspend both of our, our, our lenses and we see it from a third person, almost from the outside if you like, uh, almost not connected and we need to start talking about what that relationship looks like moving forward. So if you're a salesperson and that person enjoys your product or service, you now have to think about, well okay, moving forward with this relationship, what do I need to be doing? What do they want from me? What do they need to be doing to make sure it's a win-win? And how can we communicate and behave in a way that's successful, uh, interactive, and overall is, is, is something that um, adds value to both parties? Especially in, a, in a, a marriage or a relationship, it's exactly the same. It's too easy to talk about what you want and what that other person needs, but actually, what does the relationship need? What does that look like? And sometimes there's a bit of sacrifice and compromise required. And in a lot of the training that I deliver, we talk about the power of relationships and, and not sort of sales techniques or, or communication techniques, but actually the holistic view around values, beliefs, perceptions, uh, the questioning, uh, the understanding and the empathetic value that, that we need to apply to these sort of situations.